Hello, my creative friends. Jessica Sanders here of ColorMeCreativeArt.com and welcome back to my channel. I am so happy you are here today. So let's talk about what's been going on and what I have laid out in front of you. Summer has been ultra busy, but in a good way. My kids and family have been around. It's been great spending time with them. We've been on vacation. We've done lots of fun stuff, played in the water, gone to Schlitterbahn. We had a great time. And on top of that, I've been working on my Chameleon Pins projects, which you can find over on their blog. I've been having a lot of fun creating greeting cards for them. Um, I can show you an example. One of the things that I did for Chameleon was this really cute little bookmark. Um, and so if you want to learn how to color this and make this, you can go check out the Chameleon's Pins blog. But that's just for those of you who are interested in that kind of thing. And also, I have started teaching on Skillshare, which you may have seen already. I've been teaching watercolor projects, like, I haven't done the face yet, but uh, like this watermelon and this kiwi and lemon, sort of loose and juicy and fun and free watercolor style and so I'll leave the link below if you're interested in checking that out completely free I have some free links for you these are all the projects I've been working on and in the middle of all of that was this wonderful break not that I need a break from all of that art I love making art and I love teaching but it was just sort of an oasis of a day where I went and took a class from the amazing Dina Wakely. And she was wonderful. She just is so warm and friendly and makes you feel so comfortable. She'll answer any questions you have and, and it was great. And I walked away from that class with <laughs> about $100 worth of supplies from the store where, the where they were giving the class. Dina didn't sell me these supplies, but she did show me how to use some of them. The class I took focused on scribbling, so I thought I would share with you a little bit what I did in that class, and then we might play a little bit. Um, and if you want to see what I got, class was a scribble class, so I got the scribble sticks uh, in these beautiful colors, and I have been playing with them. You've probably seen some of the photos. Uh, trying out some of the techniques that Dina taught us, so that was pretty fun. I'll share a little bit more about these in a few minutes. I got one of Dina's long handle paint brushes. These are discontinued, so if you are interested in getting the long handled ones, you might want to hurry. They've moved to the shorter handle ones. I personally like the long handle because of the loose strokes you can get, and it's that artist feel, so love that. And it has the very stiff bristles, and I didn't have a paintbrush that had the stiff bristles like that, so I really wanted to, to get one of those. I got her media tool. These are actually brand new, and oh my goodness, I'm having a lot of fun. These are, um, another word for these are paint shapers, and yeah, these are, I've, I've opened them and been playing with them lots of fun so far. I got three colors of her acrylic paint in the bottle and honestly I wasn't sure about these paints being in the bottle I thought oh they might be difficult to get out and and they would be stuck in the bottle but actually after trying them in the class I, I was completely hooked like this is a great economical way to have her paints and they come out of the bottle really easily I, and I ended up with ocean lemon and night I had to pick and choose, guys. You can't get everything all at once, right? Can you? Can you? <laughs> no, maybe. I got some of these mica sprays, Evergreen Lapis and Ruby, and I haven't tried these yet. They're pearlescent pigment sprays, and yeah, I'm sure they're really beautiful, but I haven't tried these yet. And I got um, one set of stamps, which are her scribble blooms. Abstract blooms is what they're called. They looked like a lot of fun. I think I can use these not only with the Dina Wakely media, but with all of my other things, including my chameleon pins. So I'm looking forward to trying that, although I haven't tried it yet. Only so much time in a day. Yeah, and then, okay, so then the big purchase I made that day 
was the media journal. Now this journal at that particular store was $25. I didn't, I think you could get these other places, maybe at Michael's or our supply store. You may be able to use a coupon. I was just excited that day, didn't have a coupon. Uh, I wanted to grab it while I could and so I did. And I am so happy that I got this journal. I am so happy that I grabbed this journal. It's got different types of substrates. It's got craft paper. This is really heavy. It's got a, I think this is a compressed watercolor paper. It has nice texture. And then it, oh, it has four surfaces. I forgot. It has burlap. Um, this is honestly a slightly intimidating to do burlap. Haven't done that um, until I got this journal. And it has canvas, of course, which is what we all paint on but it's usually stretched and this is unstretched and it has all these little cool stringy strings see um, I don't know if you can see all those little strings sticking out and you know I've been just taking those off and playing with them and the only thing is um, I need to make sure my cat stays away so I want my cat to stay away from this journal anyway so I'll share a little bit with you of what's in, in here in a minute since I've been playing with it. And then actually the first thing I picked up were these bags. And this was a really economical, I think at that store it was $10 for all three bags. And I haven't even opened them yet, but I already know how fabulous they are because we use them in the class. Dina had stuff stored in them. It was great. So nice. Lots of room. Don't know yet. Of course, I'm going to store my Dina Wakely media in them. Then it'll be easy to find it, right? But aren't these gorgeous? Oh my gosh. They are gorgeous. Look at this Dina Wakely art on them. Oh, love it. Love it. Love it. So. There's my <laughs> art hall, so to speak, from taking my Dina Wakely class. It really was an, a fantastic class. I really enjoyed it. Um, so just share with you, I think I'll share with you a little bit of what I did in the class. Uh, not the techniques so much, but just what we did. So we gessoed. Of course, Dina loves gesso, um, but scribble sticks are water soluble, so I think that's why there's the watercolor paper in the journal. So I didn't have the Dina Wakely media journal when I went to the class, so I took my Jane Davenport journal, it has watercolor paper, and I took my really cheap Artist Loft. This just has sketch pages in it, but you know, you just gesso it and it turns out great. So there we go. And in the class, Dina taught us how to create a page like this with masking effects and sort of a ghost masking effect and these face drawings in the background but this is was like the last thing we created um, and this is a Tim Holtz I don't know what they're called but they're basically paper cutouts that are pre-made and I used uh, one from the class and I loved how it looked with the paint on it and it feels I keep feeling of it because it feels so good it just feels good uh, so we did this last using all the techniques we had learned in the class including we used the media tools and we did stamping and we did drawing and scribbling it was just fantastic and I made this one actually finished this one yesterday doing the same, trying the same techniques, although I think I forgot a few of the things Dina did. I put some threads from my Dina Wakely Media Journal, my heart, and I may still add to this page, but this is where it is right now. So that's something I did at home. Uh, we practiced drawing faces. She gave us sort of a mini class on how she draws faces. So these are the faces that I drew, and yeah, just, this is watercolor paper and this is actually with the scribble sticks so if you can believe that scribble sticks which we had ones that people had been using in class so these are not sharp pointy scribble scribble sticks they're used a beat up the tips get 
<laughs> beat up in a good way, guys, in a good way. The tips get soft and rounded, and I was still able to get really nice detail that I wanted in my portrait drawing, and I loved my result. This was just one scribble stick. Mm, it may have been night. It might have been two. It might have been this teal sky and night. I'm not sure. Uh, and then another one. But this is a combination of my style of faces and Dina's style of faces. Um, yeah, it was fun. This was a practice in the class. And then we did... You didn't see that yet. <laughs> then we did just a scribbling exercise. And this is on... Gessoed paper. I was trying to decide if it was watercolor or gessoed. So this is my really cheap, cheap, cheap. Like I paid like less than ten dollars for this journal. Uh, journal and has really thin pages, but we gesso the pages, and so this is a gessoed page with all scribble stick. Everything here was done with these scribble sticks. So, and it was just a fun play. Try them out scribble around. I used the paintbrush, I used the media tool, and I used the scribble sticks themselves. So lots of fun. And then um, another face. We did another face. And this was such an amazing technique. I am totally going to be using this technique over and over again because I loved it. Because this face came from scribbled color. And this so like resonates with my style because I don't like that super fussy uh, kind of thing going on. Now, I, I like to add lots of detail to my eyes, but these eyes are just, oh, they are gorgeous. And I know that I did this myself, guys, but I was so happy with the results. Let me just see. I mean, isn't that color just fantastic? And what we did was we scribbled. We added water with the paintbrush. We scribbled a little bit more. We worked, we worked light to dark and added some details with those scribble sticks, added some splatters, and look at that. I mean, look at that. It's fabulous. I'm so happy. Okay, and this is just on my cheap paper, like I said. So it was great. A great class. I loved Tina's class. I highly recommend that you take her scribble class or her face drawing class or any class you can take from her. She's just fantastic. She's just so sweet and warm. She even took photos with me, which you may have seen on my Instagram. Uh, and she was just so much fun. I just can't, I can't express how happy it made me to take this class. And by the way, I've never been in a live in-person art class before. Not even in like high school, maybe in elementary, we had some art time, but never actually an official art class. Everything I've done is, is from practicing, from learning tools online, from books, from DVDs, <laughs> uh, from watching other artists and practicing. And so for me, this was a, a fantastic wonderful experience I had never done before and so it was just great okay I'm, I'm done raving I'm done raving it was great um I think that were the main those were the main things that we did in class she taught us the technique and then we would go and try it out okay so once I got home I got my Dina Wakely media journal and I had to play oh here's something else we did in class she gave us this dictionary different kinds of paper and um, we did stamping and we did stamping with scribble sticks direct to stamp and this black is archival ink and so I tore this myself she didn't she didn't make me tear it I did I chose to do that I apologize that my phone is going off um, and uh, so we did some coloring with the scribble stick and then wetting with watercolor and this is you know, these are vanilla tags. They're not watercolor paper. They're also not uh, gesso. There's no gesso on these. So you can see you still get a lot of, of color movement, even if it's not gesso. Oh, I loved it. Okay, now I'm going to turn the page, and you can see what I've done since I got home. So since I got home, um, let me 
see, this was probably the first page that I did. And I'm trying to incorporate words into my art journal. I'm more of the just put the paint out there. I love the paint. I love the color. And I don't, I don't tend to incorporate actual journaling. So I kind of want to start doing that. Uh, I'm going to try to work on doing that and adding journaling. And I even asked Dina the question, you know, what do I write? And she said, you can write anything, write what you would write in your other journal or write your list or write what you're going to do that day. Or you could use song lyrics or quotes or anything like that. So I'm going to try and keep that in mind and do some writing. And um, yeah, so if you're wondering how I made this, I took the scribble stick almost almost everything on this page I took a scribble stick this end and I dipped it in water so that it would soften and then I just colored colored on there dipped it in water colored a little bit more and I might have see where it's lighter that's where it was drying out and this is just plain watercolor paper in the journal it's not gessoed or anything like that and to make the circles I just dipped it in water and then made a circle circle fun fun stuff I made this tag in Dina's class so and I pulled these strings from here from the burlap and added it onto my tag and I wrote on here as well um, I did actually draw this little branch after I was home and did the writing after I was home when I put this piece together but I made the original tag in the class so that was pretty cool and fun and then let's see what else have I done since I got home so what I'm working on right now, and this is a work in progress page, is this page. And I basically did the same thing as this page because you get such fabulous color uh, by dipping the sticks and coloring on it. I've added some white Uniball Signo white gel pen kind of thing. I've used my media tools to create these sort of metallic accents on the page. And I used my paint bottle straight out of my paint bottle and scribbled on this yellow. It did pick up a little bit of this pink right here. Perfectly okay with me. Did some splashes, did some drawing. And it's not finished yet. I'm not sure where I'm going. I've made some little more little string things. And I may put a little bird here. I Or actually, I have an idea to use my stamp on another piece of paper or a tag or or something and uh, create sort of a floral maybe this one I, I'm, I'm liking this one floral design to go here cut it out anyway I don't know yet that's those are just my thoughts and then yeah and these are just my little bits and pieces and this was left over so I would put some Dip my scribble stick. Let me pick one. Dip my scribble stick. Color on. Maybe use my finger to move it around. Maybe uh, use the brush. I did use the brush wet. Dipped in water. Move the paint around. And then the excess paint or the excess scribble stick that was on my brush, I would just take over here on this gessoed piece of burlap. This is a gesso page as well. So you can use it on gesso or not on gesso. It's just fabulous. So you, anyway, that's enough details for that. And then also, you can't see this, but I use a yellow scribble stick on here. I've gessoed some pages. I want to have gessoed and not gessoed. I, let me see. The thing that I did first when I got home was maybe this page. Let me see, I think, you can see I don't go in order. It causes me problems sometimes. So I did this page, um, and this was not gessoed. This is just the watercolor paper. It's really strong and sturdy. It will peel if you put enough water on it, just like any non-treated paper. Um, and again, I'm trying to add my journaling. I did sort of the scribble thing, but I felt like I wasn't as successful as I was when I did it in the class. Um, but still, I really loved how the, this little lady turned out. And this is just me saying, hey, this is me journaling, 
putting my art out here and that's what I'm so this was another page I made <clears throat> with the scribble sticks and oh I forgot to mention I did get a black food ball pin so there's a little bit of that here um, and then I did the craft and I totally was not sold on the craft I thought uh, I just don't know it's not I don't know how, I don't like the I don't like the brown color of the craft paper. I just wasn't really sold on this brown craft paper until I took my scribble sticks. I did Dina's scribbling in place technique with the colors working light to dark like she taught us, dipping it in water, and then st I started adding more layers. I added white Sharpie to add the highlights. And at that point, I was completely hooked on this craft paper. I mean, look at how the eyes turned out. They're bright and shining and and the lips. Now the nose, you know, it's a little freaky. Somebody told me it reminded them of The Walking Dead and I'm not quite sure <laughs> how or why, but you know, everybody has their own view of things. Um, but I was just super happy with the way the scribble sticks worked on this craft paper. It was actually absolutely amazing. And um, this is all, I used three things here. I used scribble stick, I used a white Sharpie paint pen, and I used the food ball, the black food ball pen. So anyway, I was, I was super happy. I really, really was. And uh, so that is my journey. I think that's all I have to show you right now. Um, oh, oh no, I didn't show you these. I also made these pages. Um, this is also just watercolor, it's not gessoed. Uh, and sort of the same technique of dipping and, and putting it on the page. So I got all these nice little dots. I think I used the pointed end. Use the pointed end to make the smaller little dots. And I did some, used the brush and did lots of, adding lots of water to the blue. And, and this is not an, <laughs> what would you call it? Anatomically correct, botanically correct flower. But I thought it was cute and pretty and I really liked it. And then I just had one color of the scribble stick on this page. It's called Blackberry. This one, Blackberry. And I just played with it also with the painting idea. And I just love this page just the way it is. And I may never touch it. I may leave it just the way it is. I just love the color. I love the softness. I love how you can get really dark and really light. And it's just to me beautiful. So this page may never ever get touched again. I don't know. Uh, but I have been having so much fun trying out her media and trying out her stuff and the things that I bought. And I'm so happy, really very happy with, with my purchase. I know these have been out for a while. These are fairly new. But the scribble sticks, they've been out for a little while, right? And I have some gelatos and eh, they work, but I don't use them very much. And I have some Neo colors and I love using my Neo colors. And so I thought, eh, I don't know if I really want the scribble sticks. I don't know if they would contribute to my art and my exploration of, of products and, and media and everything. But after trying them, See, I love Dina Wakely in the first place, so when I knew she was coming to my area, I had to go to one of her classes. I wish I had gone to all of her classes, but I just couldn't do that. But after trying them and listening and understanding what they are, I thought, you know, I, I, I want these. I, I really wanted these. These can be a really good um, addition to my, to my supplies for journaling and making art. And um, the difference between these and Neo Colors is the Neo Colors are water soluble oil pastels, which is great. 
These are just pigment. There's no wax in these. There's no oil in these or anything like that. It's just a pigment stick. So really, I don't know. There's just something about them that appeals to me. I like the loose and free style you can get with them. And so I am not only a fan of Dina Wakely, but now I'm a fan of scribble sticks. And then, of course, these little bottles of paint, which I was unsure about but I really like them. I'm probably gonna end up with all the colors, but not yet. So <laughs> I've spent enough. I spent enough, guys, I've spent enough. All right, so I think that I will save a demo for another video uh, because this one has turned out to be quite long. But thank you so much for joining me. I'm gonna leave a bunch of links down below for Chameleon, for Skillshare, um, for the products that I use that you've seen here, and also, if you just hop over to my blog, I'm going to just have like lots of photos, more links, and um, yeah, just fun stuff. Fun stuff. Um, all right. I'll see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give me that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done that. And click that little bell if you want to know when I put a new video on YouTube. So you can check that out. And... Thank you so much. I will see you soon. Bye.